Hey everyone, Techni here with one really amazing product review today. And I want to ask you one quick question before you get into it. Just give me two minutes of your time if you don't mind. Um, a, a lot of us get into PC gaming, coming from console gaming, myself included, right? And there's a few select things that really get us interested in PC gaming, right? More games, right? Better graphics, easy to upgrade and stuff. But do we ever step back and just think about the upgraded audio quality coming from console to PC gaming? And that's not saying that audio quality on console is bad. You can find plenty of headsets that are great on console. But again, when you jump to PC gaming and you get this increase in audio quality and just features within the headsets, it's just mind-blowing and it's just amazing and that is exactly what this product is that we have today this is one of those products that say geez I wish I was gaming on PC and that product is the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero wireless gaming headset let's check these things out All right, so after looking at them right there, I mean, where do we start? Let me start right here. Number one, the stand is separate. That does not come in the box. The stand is separate right there. As far as in your box, you're gonna get your headset right here. You'll get your little uh, wireless dongle right here that just plugs into your PC. You can get some 3.5 millimeter connections right here for console controller, mobile, or even into your PC with audio controls right there. You're gonna get your detachable microphone, and then you're gonna get your USB charging cable for the headset here. All right, so let's go on and kick it off with comfort. Now, number one, we have all this swiveling. They come all the way flat and a little bit of swivel right in the front right there. Plenty of give with any ear cups going right here. And again, when you put these things on your head, I mean, they are just perfect. It's not a firm uh, clamping force, not a very light clamping force, right in between they're very thick plush ear cups. And again, you got no pressure points or anything. You got cooling gel inside of the ear cups right here. And let me just tell you, they fit amazing. And again, back to the ear cups right here. I just want to show you how absolutely plush they are. And they feel like that memory foam. And they got that cooling gel in there as well, which you do really feel on your ears. And again, it feels like a true memory foam, not just this hard foam pressing against your ears. It's truly an amazing experience. It really is, again, along with that cooling gel. As far as it also has a glasses notch right in here. On the inside of the ear cup that you can just pop off the headset, you can just pop it off right there, adjust that little rubber band, and pull Hold it and it's going to give you a little notch right in there so it's not pressing against your glasses frame right there which is great for someone like me with straight arm frames bam just get that notch going in right there and then i'm not going to get that pressure right on my head one other cool little touch i want to show you while we have this ear cup off right here as you can see on the right ear you have this little slot right at the bottom right there that is actually a slot for a usb dongle to put in there for storage if you're traveling or just you know storing them away for the side you know what i mean put it right in there and you're not going to misplace your dongle now a couple other great things as far as comfort on this headset is the headband right here here. I really love this floating design uh, headband rather than your head just sitting right on top of right there. Just goes there and it feels like it's floating. Again, you have no pressure right there. As far as the ear cups, they don't adjust throughout the frame like most headsets right there. It's kind of like the ear cup travels up and down the arm, if you can see right here. Really interesting design. I really like it. One of the first of the kind that I've seen. But all in all, as far as comfort, I mean, wow. A++. Phenomenal on the head. I mean, they are fantastic, incredibly cozy. Total win as far as comfort. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive into build right here. Now, your headband up here is metal. So again, whenever you're pulling and stretching it out, that's really all you're bending. No other pressure points over here and everything. Again, you're pulling on that little ear cup piece right there, which is, again, that one bit I question. But again, they feel incredibly durable. Very thick plastic. They do have a little bit of weight on them. But talking about them having a little bit of weight on them, that's not a bad thing at all. Again, it feels like a very very premium, very high quality product in your hand. And as far as backtracking the comfort with the headband and the ear cups right there, it really complements and you don't feel this massive heavy headset on your head. As far as building comfort guys, I can go on and on here all day. These things are 110% solid. Comfort and build A++ across the board. Total win. All right, so let's get into the next two main topics with any headset, right? And that's going to be sound and features. Number one, talking about features, as you see on the back of the left ear cup right here, you have your mic monitoring wheel, you have your volume wheel, your Turtle Beach Superhuman hearing button, power button, 
This is your uh, power indicator light right there. And then as far as your wireless sync up light, charge port, your 3.5 port, and then your microphone port. And then right on the outside of the left ear cup right here, you have your mic mute button. Now, as far as those buttons on the outside of the headset, those will actually be remapped as well, which we'll go into the software and talk about that as well. Whenever we're doing the mic test, I'll show you how you can remap the buttons and get all these other different settings out of there. And it is just absolutely amazing, the options we have in there. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But again, let's jump right into the sound here. Now this headset is using 50 millimeter drivers with a frequency range of 12 to 20,000. And let me tell you what, the sound stage of this headset is absolutely phenomenal. It is hands down amazing. And I really can't talk about as far as it being bass heavy or treble heavy or anything like that. Because again, when we dive into the software, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. You can dial this headset into your exact headset or your sound preferences over any other headset I have tested. The only thing I can really compare this to is some of the high-end amps I have reviewed before, if you've seen any of those uh, reviews. That's exactly the class that I would put this into as far as customization and then being able to adjust the sound and everything. But again, just real quick before we get into that software and that mic test, I wanna talk about the sound and my experience using them. Playing a lot of Call of Duty campaign or multiplayer, some Fortnite and everything and some other story games. Again, the sound stage is just beautiful. It is phenomenal. You can adjust everything to be hard hitting bass or no bass or right in the middle, ear shaking or your trebles right there. It also uses this Waves NX 3D audio. And no, it's not really like this really surround sound. The only way I can really explain it is realistic sound, if that makes any sense right there. It is so stinking amazing the way the grass sounds around you or just the uh, helicopters in the distance or your other teammates and everything it is just unbelievable as far as picking up footsteps and everything it is incredible you truly do hear them from each ear right there no it's not surround sound like i say in every headset review no headset's going to be true surround sound you got to listen to a true 7.1 surround sound a true one to really experience that you know what i mean so i don't think any headset's really going to give you that but as far as this nx sound 3d sound whatever it is stinking phenomenal. It is truly an experience. Like going to any other headset after using that, it's like, wait, what's going on here? And then on top of all that, you do have the superhuman hearing, which I've never really been a really big fan of. It just kind of really brings out the highs right there, but you do have that option on it right there. So if you want to get real competitive, hey, put them all active and everything, and that's all you're gonna hear, you know what I mean? So again, it's really cool as far as everything you can customize within this and really tweak it to your liking. Add this, take this off, put them all on or whatever. You know what? Let's do this mic test and let me just bring you to the software and show you so you can understand what I'm talking about. All right, so we are now in the Turtle Beach Control Studio as far as the software for the headset right here. Now, sorry about my voice. I'm still a little sick here trying to get over this. It is, it has been absolute pain. So anyways, any of that, you hear the raspiness, that is my voice. It's not the headset microphone here. Um, but anyway, straight off the bat, before you get into the software, this microphone sounds incredibly amazing. Anyways, let's start right over here with our uh, headset right over. These are the two controllable buttons that I said we can remap right here. So we have our mic monitoring, and you can change all those right over there. Your microphone volume, right? Your bass boost. All this can be adjusted right on that uh, wheel right over there. Set to whichever one you want right here. How cool is that to have your microphone volume Bam, right on your headset. Super duper cool touch right there. And then that button right over there, we had superhuman. You can put on a master mute so to volume and your mic. Put it on that 3D audio right there, which is really awesome to have all these settings. You can just customize it to your liking. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and put mine on 3D audio right there. Anyways, let's dive on over here to the dashboard. As you can see, you have some presets, bass boost, treble boost, bass and treble boost, which I usually keep my own bass and treble boost, but it's really cool. You can go over here and activate whichever one you want. And then this is that 3D NX audio right here. Let's go ahead and click that on. And again, you can set it on different ones right there. I think it sounds the best on movie. I don't know. It just gets a little bit louder, but it's really an amazing experience right there. Then your spatializer, we're just going to kind of open it up a little bit right here. Your superhuman here, and if you ever use Turtle Beach headsets, you know what that is right there. And again, your uh, chat boost. Click right over here to audio settings, and you get these EQ settings. You get EQ as far as your game sound, and then your chat, and then your microphone, 
It's like, holy smokes, like what else is going to be here? You know what I mean? It's absolutely amazing. I love this little cool touch. As you see at the top, you got rumble explosions, car engines, vocals, wind and waves. Because a lot of people look at these EQ settings, they're like, eh, what does this number mean? Uh, if you don't know, the lower ones down here is, is usually bass. When you get up to here, it's always your highs and everything. So think about it as a low bass to mids to highs. But it's really cool that they put these up here just so you kind of know what you're adjusting. Really cool to have that. And then again, your superhuman here, which you can adjust right over here. And some macros. These are just some shortcuts you can set on your keyboard right there to activate some of these settings right there when this software is active. All right, so what did you think about that software in the mic test? Number one, the mic I think sounds absolutely phenomenal. Really sorry about my raspy voice still. I had a little bit of a cold and then I got inner congest, I don't know, something cartilage in my ribs got real swollen. I don't know. It hurts like heck though. I will tell you that it hurts so bad. But anyways, we got to get through these videos, right? But anyways, as far as that microphone right there, it sounded phenomenal. Really, really crisp and very natural. One of the best right there at the best microphone test we have done yet. And jumping into that sound, talking about that software, again, I apologize that I went on and on talking about it, but there is so much within that software to dabble with this headset. Again, the only thing I can go back and compare it to is if you're using like an external amp or a sound card within your PC, as far as everything you can adjust there. Because I might like my sound one certain way, you might like yours completely different, but there's so many different variations and so many adjustments you can do with this headset to dial in that sound for each specific game, and it sounds amazing across all of them. And yes, you can use this headset on console as well, going by that 3.5 right there. But again, as I've been stating through the whole video, this is truly a PC headset. You know, so <clears throat> if you're like me, 90% of the time you game on PC, you dabble a little bit on console, then this is gonna be for you right there. Plug it in your 3.5 and it sounds fantastic. You actually don't even have to power them on to play on 3.5, you know what I mean? So if you're primarily or only a PC player, yes, 100%, you need these. If you're only a console player and you dabble a little bit with PC, I'd probably point you in a different direction, you know what I mean? Because again, where this headset shines as far as sound, features, usability, and customization is 100% PC. And again, as I stated over and over again, it is amazing. It's in that top three right there. Now, I know someone out there's thinking, well, man, this guy's just overly hyped or excited about this headset. Trust me, I've been using the heck out of this headset, and I've been trying to find something wrong with it. I was like, all right, this can't be this good. But trust me, it is. This is in the top three best wireless headsets for PC. It is that stinking good, and it's only coming in at 150 bucks. Only at 150 bucks? I mean, you will not be disappointed. You'll be back in this comment section thanking me later. I promise you. We have reviewed so many headsets, and this one has seriously just absolutely blown me away at $150. And like I stated in the beginning, this is one of those products that if you're a console gamer, this is one of those ones that makes you go, golly, I wish I was gaming on PC. All right, so I hope I didn't miss anything there. My voice has got worse and worse throughout this entire video. I sincerely apologize about that. Go get me a cough drop. Hopefully this will cure up a little bit. I'm telling you what, it's hurting so bad. I got to go hit the Epsom sauce after this one. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero headset right here. I hope I was able to help you out a little bit, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.